Hi peoples, Billy the Crayon here, and I am back. Unfortunately, I was not able to get a tutorial video up for the uh, latest uh, video competition. Instead, I wanted to bring you something a little more uh, special uh, for this episode. So I'm going to have what I am going to call a historic hunt. Basically, what I've done is I picked the... Uh, I'm going to have very little uh, gear here. What I'm, do, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hunt with, a, uh, with the uh, muzzle loader. And it's, I'm going to try to make it as historically accurate as possible for the uh, time period that um, used a muzzle loader. So that means, like, no, I'm going to have uh, no collars, no scent reduction capabilities or anything like that. I'm using the uh, default uh, clothing that doesn't have any scent or sight reduction capabilities. Um, uh, no collars or uh, scent eliminator, anything like that. Um, no optics. Uh, the only thing I have that wouldn't fit in this idea is the digital camera and that is only really going to be used for uh, trophy shot but I have uh, the muzzle loader ammo camping supplies and first aid kit and that's basically it. first aid kit I could kind of leave out too but with the bears here you never know but uh, yeah, that is all I'm bringing on this. Also, I have tracking orbs turned off, which will probably be a bad thing. <laughs> but uh, the only other um, thing is the hunter's mate. And what my plan is for the hunter's mate is I'm not going to use it for tracking footsteps or anything like that. I'm only going to use it to get um, an idea of where their calls are coming from as well as for the droppings because I don't care what ear it, it is if uh, if you're looking at poo uh, as long as you have a pretty decent wisdom score you're probably going to be able to tell approximately how um, how old poo is or how long it's been sitting there for um, so I'm going to leave that I'm going to use it to uh, track poo and for uh, um, and for the sounds and that is it so right now I have a general idea of I'm going up this way so I'm not going to use the hunter's mate for uh, anything else. Uh, I'm not going to uh, use it as a map, per se. So, yeah. But honestly, like, uh, if something calls out, you're going to be able to uh, uh, normally have a good general idea of where the sound is coming from. But with the game, that's really hard to simulate, which is why it shows up on the uh, Hunter's Mate. Um, but yeah, that may be a little too pinpointy. I don't know, but we shall see. Anyways, those are the ground rules that I laid out. Uh, I heard a white tail just up here, so this might not be a long hunt. Also, um... With the way that I'm going to set this up is that I'm not going to go for the highest scoring animal. I'm going to go for the uh, one with the most weight. Because to try to, for a historical hunt, uh, historical hunting is going to be about feeding yourself or your family and all that stuff. So I'm more concerned about... Uh, 
weight and how much meat an animal has on it. So I'm probably going to go for the biggest animal, not necessarily the highest scoring. But anyway. Oh. Okay, I got a, an idea of where he is. Just right up here. Again, no uh, scent eliminator or anything. It looks like I have the wind uh, at my... Uh, is blowing in my face, it looks like. So, that's a good thing. Okay, I'm going to get down a little low here. It's going to be harder to uh, get close enough to these animals as well, just because of the fact that it's, uh, um, just for the fact that I, I cannot call them in or lure them in or anything, so, Ooh, there he is right down there. I don't think, um, I still think I'm a little too far away here, but. Don't know how close I can get to a white tail with my current clothing. Probably could have taken the shot from back there, but. I'm hoping he's still going in that direction and not coming up this way. It's way up there. There he is. Definitely close enough, but can I get a shot? I don't like that he's quartering away. Don't think I should get any closer. I'm at a good distance. I, I know I can, I'm confident that I can do a really good shot at this distance, but it's, uh, I just need to get a good broadside shot in on him.
Well, that actually looks like a female, but uh, still. Yeah, it is. Okay. Dropped her on the spot. Right on. <laughs> Hurt and lung shot, so, uh, yeah, looks a little further back, but I guess I wasn't exactly uh, um, shooting broadside anyway. Like it probably went forward into her. Forty-two kilograms. Not the biggest, but it was the only one in the area. Feed the family, though. <laughs> but that's basically what I was looking for in this, is just to be able to find an animal and kill it um, with the musket. Next, what I would like to do is do the same kind of a thing with uh, both the uh, lever action as well once I get my uh, uh, my confidence up, then I'd like to do the same thing on a uh, with a recurve. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, let me know if you like these kind of videos, or if you just want the traditional uh, uh, hunts that I do, or the bow hunts, uh, or whatever you guys uh, particularly prefer. Uh, let me know what what you'd like to see and I'll see if I can do it. Uh, but if you want me to continue these, let me know. I'll definitely see what I can do. But that's going to be it for now, guys. And until next time, have a good one. Here's a little bonus footage. Uh, I just spooked a deer up this way. I figured I'd keep on going anyway just to see and I just spooked a deer heading up towards this direction here. So I might try to follow it just to see what I can do. But I can see exactly what happened. My scent uh, looks like she uh, caught my scent. So, yeah, that's a huge thing when you don't have scent eliminator on and stuff. So. But plus I was walking around, that probably didn't help either. But I just watched her go right up this way. I'm going to pause the video right now and just uh, see if I can find her again. Look at what I see. This is a little bit of a further distance, I think. To be shooting with this, and but I also think that uh, that deer might be a little nervous uh, to take a shot on. But I can definitely get closer right now. Normally, I probably would have taken that shot. However, uh, 
I've been noticing that I've been taking a lot of bad shots recently. And I want to try to stop doing that. Which is why I'm trying to be a little more patient with this and try to get a little bit closer and stuff like that. I can tell uh, that deer's looking around and everything. You know it's on high alert. So the last thing I want to do is get in uh, their uh, is to uh, get in the scent lane basically. So if I go up on that little uh, hill there, which looks like it would be perfect to take this shot, um, my scent would blow right down onto that deer, and there's no way I'd be able to get a shot in. So for now, I'm just going to get as close as I can. Try to wait for it to calm down. And I'd like it to uh, keep going the, re the direction it's going, basically. So I can get up on this hill and take a shot without having my scent blowing down towards the deer. This definitely feels weird trying to hunt like this, though. Alright, where's he going? It might benefit me to switch over to that side of the river, too. Because then I, I know for sure my scent wouldn't blow near it. Gotta be careful cresting these hills, too. And it looks like the rain is gonna start again. Pretty sure that's him way up there. Yeah, that's him. Thought I lost him for a minute. I thought he uh, spooked. But this is the perfect opportunity for me to cross this river and try to close the, the distance again. So I'm going to pause it here and I'll be right back. Okay, we're back, and we're across the river now. Hopefully, he's still going up along uh, the um, by the water up here. If he turns back this way, then I'm busted, and he is going to bolt. 
So we'd basically be done at that point if that happens, but there he is. Unless it's a different deer. I don't know. We'll find out once we get up here, but it looks like we're going to be staying prone from here on in. Here we go. Nice kill. That could not have gone much better than that. <laughs> That's two does down. Looks like the shot was a little high, but uh, did the trick. It got the liver? <laughs> Wasn't expecting that, but... That is two does down. I think we did pretty good here. And that is going to be it for now. Just wanted to show that quick little uh, hunt. And I got... But yeah, again, let me know if you like these um, historical, like, realistic type hunting um, Bids, uh, and I might make more. But until next time, guys, have a good one.